Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to continue discuss our discussion and our analysis on Dow Jones, S&P 500, Nasdaq 100, Tesla, British Pound, Euro, Japanese Yen. We'll add Platinum. We haven't done an analysis on Platinum for a while, so we'll add Platinum uh, and we'll definitely discuss uh, Silver and Gold. Uh, we'll discuss crude oil and we'll also look at Bitcoin. Uh, now most of you guys are, have probably seen my content before and if I welcome you back uh, for newcomers uh, I do analysis using tech traditional technical analysis which is simple support and resistance and uh, price structures and we'll also look at um, Elliott wave analysis I try to add Elliott wave analysis to the traditional technical analysis and there are some questions which Elliott wave analysis cannot answer at that regard and for that I'll use WD GAN analysis now when you talk when I talk about WD GAN analysis it's purely uh, on the scientific side of the uh, WD GAN analysis it had nothing to do with uh, planets or nothing I'm not uh, a fan of that side but there is other side which is uh, more uh, mathematical or scientific side of WD GAN studies and I, um, I, I try to add that on so uh, I will definitely discuss Elliott wave patterns from time to time you look at Elliott wave patterns uh, the labeling is not included because I'm not interested in a smaller move uh, the whole point of the analysis is to catch the major swing and that's what I'm interested in and so if you are not in if you do not want to uh, kind of I'd, I've seen a lot of uh, Elliott wave analysis I've done a little wave analysis for a very long period of time uh, but I do not like the moment when the prices prices run away uh, so that's one of the reason if you want you can definitely try to add one two three four five uh, but we'll talk about the price structure itself uh, now I already indicated to you guys that my research on uh, on WD GAN analysis of the stock market indicates that we are at the uh, the start at of a major major uh, bearish cycle and uh, that bearish cycle could easily take from three to four years it can actually enter into seven to eight years ten years so we're talking about major time uh, frame analysis in uh, uh, as far as WD GAN analysis is concerned and so far it has uh, and we have seen that the prices have gone down so I'm expecting a major si a major price movement downward there's a potential uh, target indicated on the screen which is around 18,000 so is, I think that's quite reasonable as far as uh, the major bearish crash is concerned in the in the stock market and I'm not only in the US stock market I'm expecting that we will see uh, similar s crashes in the world uh, indices as well because most of the time uh, the world indices do follow uh, US stock markets and I'm expecting that we are going to see major major uh, concerns major job happening um, job losses in the stock market the business condition as a whole will lose and uh, as far as the job opportunities are concerned definitely they are a reflection of the basic business opportunities so we are expecting a major major depression as far as the WD GAN analysis is concerned let's have a look at the price structure and see if you can find some potential uh, trading opportunities I've already indicated to you guys that I'm considering this whole price movement as we one and this whole price movement as wave two or a double top pattern or a flat correction flat pattern itself is uh, in available in front of us now we are seeing some sort of uh, a smaller time frame support that coming uh, on a structural basis we can see that this structure is this uh, level is very important as far as support is concerned and we have recently visit, visited that structure and within one day we have seen reflection happening quite soon I'm not betting that we are not going to see prices uh, upward what I'm betting on that is that from this top we are expected to go further down and that's what major uh, major swing is concerned I'm expecting the major swing stays bearish nothing has uh, come in my attention which will actually change that uh, still I'm still bearish on the um, on the dojo on the self is concerned as far as trying to uh, create a different opportunity you can look at it you want to play small it because there is major volatility expected in, in dojo on as well so I'm bearish this is wave one and this is wave two a uh, smaller time frame analysis if you are insisting on it then you can considerably see that we have a corrective pattern right over here there is no indication in Elliott wave analysis which can say that we cannot consider it as wave A and this as wave B and prices go upward so that's what I'm saying I'm suggesting you can consider this peak uh, as a, a proper reference point to go on the bearish side because if prices let's say go above 
up in that direction and then you can add on to your position and if they do not if they run away you will be able to in uh, that's your call once again the major concern the major analysis for trend analysis is giving an indication that we are bearish on the stock market in Dow Jones S&P 500 is uh, uh, showing a similar pattern we have uh, seen wave 1 right over here we are A B and C uh, this is a double 3 pattern this is not a flat correction we are seeing a double 3 pattern this is a zigzag another zigzag another zigzag on the side wave uh, so you can see this is very rare that a zigzag would happen on the side wave price action in a double three where wave A is at, where W is a zigzag, X is zigzag and Y is zigzag. Normally there is an alternation. If W is a zigzag then Y is a flat. Uh, so if you want you can also say that okay then this is A, B and C. But you get the point. We have completed a structure which is uh, forming a double top. We have Im seen impulsive movement downward double top and once again if you are so uh, kind of uh, indicating then we have a top right over here I insist to use this top as a reference point not as this top as a reference point to go bearish so I'm still bearish there is nothing has changed we are facing price in a uh, support and I'm expecting that we should actually carry on downward either we would go up and come down or whether we would continue from this one right over here too uh, so I'm still bearish on on Dow Jones NASDAQ we have seen that the prices have uh, gone up come down gone up too once again and I'm expecting that this behavior would continue the bearish uh, price action would continue and a proper top to be used in reference to going down is 14,300 I'm bearish on uh, NASDAQ and nothing has changed in that regard too I'm expecting that NASDAQ is since showing more weakness we are going to see some interesting price behavior so since we are let's say that we have completed wave 1 and 2 a smaller wave 1 2 a smaller wave 1 2 in that regard if the prices move goes down whenever I wouldn't say if I would say whenever the prices goes down that price is expected to be moved strongly bearish side it will give very less chance for people to join the trend that's what um, wave 3 is famous for so I'm expecting for the prices to go come come down right over here any corrections uh, corrections happen on a smaller time frame on a daily time frame shall be taken as a joining in the opportunity in the bearish side it should not be taken as a going long opportunity let's have a look at Tesla we are uh, seeing Tesla is giving a, a similar kind of behavior we can right now see that there's a trend line that's coming and uh, all these tops are on that trend line so this is pretty good thing I wanted to bring into your attention and I'm expecting once again that if you want to go short on Tesla you want to use this top as going short which is 1100 and we are expecting for the Tesla price to crash absolutely going down all the way right over here so I'm still bearish on Tesla nothing has changed uh, we would definitely add some of the important support structures right over here too we can see that this support structure itself has not worked out pretty good so we can actually ignore this right now uh, let's see what we can actually work on it and do you guys think we can actually see this area as a potential support structure I think this is pretty good support structure um, 945 so if prices goes beyond 950 that should be actually a little bit worrying I'm uh, majorly concerned I've already told you guys that I'm bearish on Tesla and nothing has changed we are talking about daily time frame analysis and you're talking about a lot of strong volatility happening in the stock market keep your position small please use money management rules and just focus on trying to capture the major trend do not try to focus on how much money you're making and then you'll be fine let's have a look at British pound we have seen British pound uh, to be very interesting I do not believe that the bearish side is complete yet let me break that again there's a couple of possibilities that ha can happen right now and I've indicated that on uh, Japanese yen on my previous week analysis uh, the whole reason is because there's a potential very potential dangerous uh, pattern in in Elliott wave analysis which is expanded flat this can I have seen this happening with A, wave B and wave C I have seen this happening on numerous times and therefore I'm advising you to stay awake from this alright I'm not saying that prices will go up if the prices go will go up it will give you a chance to go on the bearish side I want you to still wait for the side 
The other possibility is that in that case the pattern is complete right over here too and this is an impulsive wave. In that case we shall actually see a corrective pattern uh, that will take quite a bit of time. Alright, I'm, I'm talking about maybe a week uh, or maybe a week and a half. So that should take some time to give us either the pattern is yet not complete and the price would go right over here. In that case it would give us a chance to go short. Right now I'm not considering British Pound to be tradable or the other position is that we can actually see uh, some sort of pattern forming right over here in this regard and then we can go short again once again. But for now we are waiting on British Pound and this is the analysis that I'm going to give you. That I'm still bearish on the, uh, I was expecting the, for the prices to go all the way up over here and then come down instead we have seen that the pattern completed right over here and then we have seen prices move down so right now we need definitely need a corrective structure before we can decide which way to go down I'm still bearish I won't say which way to go uh, but I'm still I'm waiting for the proper entry point and that entry point is not here uh, that this extended move that has happened uh, has moved quite sharply I am expecting a correction is due in British pound we are seeing a similar kind of behavior in uh, in euro okay once again I'm expecting that we are yet not done in in euro we are expecting we still have one more uh, leg on the euro side and then we should keep an eye uh, let me have break this because this is giving wrong assumption and this is an up to this is a little different from I told you guys last time guys alright so once again uh, could that be possible that we are uh, this whole price movement is concerned and we have seen this correction this major swing and we are expecting a correction either that correction would go in this area or that would stay in this area right over here too that would give us a chance to go on the bearish side further so euro is yet not done as far as the bearish price movement is concerned Japanese yen we have seen nice price movement uh, from our last analysis you're expecting that price when go above right over here it would give us go a uh, nice move and that we have seen right now prices have come down right over in this regard <coughs> so I'm expecting that we should see some sort of corrective pattern in this regard right over here and the pattern would continue the price uh, to the upside would continue I already told you guys on a weekly time frame that we are uh, talking about sideways price action that's going on in 30 years time frame and that sideway fraction uh, price action is about to complete we're talking about a major major trend uh, change in Japanese Gen. I do not believe that this price movement which is actually started right from over here is yet complete. We are still waiting on this price behavior to complete. We have two tops. One is 135 which is this one right over here. Another top is this one which is 147. Uh, Japanese Gen is very very close to forming a top. As soon as this top is formed we are going to be on the bearish side on the chart which means Japanese Gen will get stronger and stronger and we are expecting a major uh, trend a 30 year trend that actually started right from over here a side wave price action is going to be completed and we are going to continue our uh, monthly trend on the bearish side on the chart <coughs> excuse me so I'm, I wanted to give you to guys this is a major analysis that we have gone we can talk about a five wave structure we have wave one and two we can see that we have either completed wave uh, three right over here or we have completed right over here and this makes more sense we have one two three four and five and we have a side wave price action it's a double three so, uh, you can consider it as a double three pattern uh, it does happen not a lot of politician uh, discuss it we have a lot of zigzags right over here a single zigzag another zigzag another zigzag and I'm expecting as soon as the double top is concerned with this one or that one we should actually continue downward this uh, I mean I'm talking about a major cycle downward alright and this is the beauty of uh, uh, something if you are interested in uh, uh, other analysis apart from Elliott analysis itself so I'm expecting a major move downward and uh, this study, this analysis is actually coming from WDGAN analysis. I'm not going to tell you guys details about how I've reached my conclusion, but in the days to come, uh, especially in uh, by the end of the year, you will be able to see that we have seen a major reversal happening in Japanese Gen. So, uh, 
on a smaller time frame on a daily time frame I'm gonna ignore Japanese Gen I'm gonna wait for the prices to give me a top and then we will probably see a lot of noise happening uh, because the prices have moved sharply up so when prices do come down a lot of noise is expected to happen before we can actually break the the support line and then you can go down so we're gonna keep an eye on on Japanese Gen I'll try to uh, put some more time uh, to see where exactly we are seeing when exactly we should be seeing uh, Japanese Gen to be top but once again on a daily time frame once again we can see that we have seen this correction prices have moved up right over here too so we should see some sort of correction and the price movement that actually started right from bottom is yet not complete we shall wait a little more on Japanese Gen Platinum is a very interesting stage I do believe that platinum, uh, silver, and gold are presenting one rare opportunity, and one rare opportunity is that in case when prices have been pushed, especially in platinum, uh, it went to around twelve hundred dollars. Uh, right over here, we can see eleven seventy-four or eleven seventy-five. So you can consider that eleven seventy-five, and we are about two hundred and seventy-five dollars down at nine hundred. Uh, so right now, still we are two hundred and forty dollars down. I'm expecting this whole price movement to be completed very very soon and we are going to discuss four hourly time frame analysis on this one I'm not going to discuss the larger proof my downward but I'm expecting in platinum if you because I haven't given a major uh, a major analysis on platinum so I'm expecting that we are going to see it's a major price movement in platinum and I'm expecting that this bottom is going to be an important bottom in history so we are expecting a major major price movement upward in platinum let's have a look on a four hourly time frame and what I'm expecting on a smaller time frame analysis let's have a look at this which is the previous low we can see that prices have actually stayed uh, below that low they went up in that area and got rejected so I'm expecting that Monday we shall actually prices see downward all right and when prices come downward you can actually use this support line to go long what I mean is that when prices go downward right over here they would jump up and a break of this support line uh, which is 945 should be used to go upward in case the prices do not come downward and they probably have already completed the bottom in, in that case we should wait for the prices to cross to close the diagonal support which is happening right over here too because we gotta keep in mind the alternate labeling there is a possibility that the bottom is already formed in uh, in platinum in that case we shall wait for the break of the green line right over here too if you want to be even more interested uh, want to be even more sure than 990 which is a, a smaller wave corrective wave going upside should be used as a horizontal uh, but I think mm, the, mm, the green line would be good enough for to go long and you do not have to keep your stop loss way beyond a stop loss just beyond 902 would be good enough I mean 902 would be good enough when prices cross the green line alright in case prices come down first and then they go above in that case the break the horizontal support would become right over here too in that case when you go long at 950 let's say you can definitely use 902 as a reference point to go long it's going to be one of the amazing tra trades it's uh, not happening on a 15 minute chart it's happening on a daily time frame analysis please be aware of it and we are trying to anticipate a major major change in the trend I'm not talking about something like this I'm talking about a swing which would be strong enough to take the prices in this regard so we are at a very major point as far as platinum is concerned um, I've already given you guys an analysis that I'm bullish on platinum uh, and we will see price action for more uh, more hint on where exactly whether the bottom has already been formed or whether the price will come down right over here in case the price do come right over here I'm not expecting to create a major price movement downward if it does happen that should be uh, an excellent opportunity to go long right but I'm expecting that this is either we have already completed the top or we are going to see a last price movement downward and then go up Silver once again if you try to use Elliott wave analysis there is so much uh, gibberish going on in that if there is so much uh, uh, price going on then you can look definitely look at that high low high low 
uh, another lower high and then major swing should happen downward right but my study on uh, WD GAN analysis is giving me an indication that a turn is very very close to happen in uh, silver we are very very close to create a turn it did not happen we were expecting uh, last week to go that the price would actually go right over here instead we have seen prices come major down right over here I'm well aware of it but the major uh, trend that we're expecting uh, in the bullish trend in the we're expecting in silver is yet there it's only that the correction has gone much deeper so let's have a look on a four hourly time frame it will give us much better clue on where to enter the trading setup here we can see that we have a four hourly time frame 2360 right now I'm expecting that hourly time frame let's have a look at hourly time frame I'm expecting that there is a little more price movement uh, to go before we can go long if price actually go long from over here and we are able to break 2355 that should be taken as a as a trigger point to go long another thing that we can definitely use we can definitely draw a support line right over here too and if that support line is broken we can also go long but my point is that we are very very close to making a u-turn in this regard I'm expecting that a V type a shape is expected to happen like exactly we have seen price move down and I'm expecting that we're gonna see something like this that we have seen on a daily time frame right over here too we have seen prices sharply come down and then go up right over here too so I'm expecting a similar behavior is expected to happen in this level as well I'm not bearish on silver I'm bullish on silver and I've already told you guys that 2355 or the break of the green diagonal line should be used to go long if you want to use a proper stop loss area let me uh, for your reference point that when we are wrong or right we can definitely use the break of this support which is 2140 uh, to be considered that we were wrong in our analysis so I'm not expecting for the prices to go below 2041 and then once again we are bullish on silver alright gold is a little different keep in mind that uh, we have nothing has changed as far as longer analysis is concerned once again we have come a little lower a little deeper in uh, in gold and I'll discuss more there was a, a thing I missed it and uh, because the the triangle is done in that way and I was stupid enough uh, not to extend the arms I'm considering this whole other triangle and I'm considering this as wave A right over here, wave B right over here, wave C, wave D and wave E right over here or over here. In that regard we should be using the end of wave A and the end of wave C as a triangle. Right now this is a much better way to, to the, the draw the triangle. I had a mm, point raised in comment section and I wanted to bring that to your attention. So I'm considering a major triangle happen occurred uh, completed right over here too. Let's have a look on a four hourly time frame and what we're talking about. Although the diagonal support is broken, I think that we yet have not completed uh, the price the structure that actually started right from over here. I'm expecting that on Monday. Um, probably in the initial hours we are going to see something like this there's a possibility we can see some on truncation there's a possibility we can see double bottom and there's a possibility we can see a lower low all right so giving an indication and that since the last move is very tricky I'm expecting the price is yet to go low right over here too and I'm expecting that when that happens and if you want to be really sure and it, I think it's a, it's a very good point to be sure a break of 1920 to be used to go long or we have a diagonal green line uh, when prices go beyond that that could be used as to go long right over here we were expecting this pattern to be different this turned out to be a double zigzag I'm considering right now this as wave A, wave B and wave C which is W another zigzag as X and I'm considering right now this is a five wave structure a correction and price move downward but I'm expecting that this price movement uh, would be done in early hours on Monday alright 
let me repeat that I'm expecting that uh, this should be done in early hours on Monday trading and then we should actually see prices going down uh, upward so a break above 1920 or a break above the diagonal trend line would g indicate a change in the uh, direction of the trend and if you want to be a little more careful definitely we can use this trend line uh, to go long right over here the top one that actually created right over here too so important levels although we have broken 1890 which I was focusing on so much I'm still uh, bullish on gold nothing has changed I'm not expecting for gold to go on 1800 could there be possibility that in early hours on Monday we would see a sudden break we, there is a possibility that we can actually see a sudden break in the price of gold and which is right over here too this price movement happened within like two to four hours and then we have seen prices come back a major drop I think a hundred or something uh, within next within two to four hours we have seen that and um, not two to four hours probably it took let me have a look you guys can always go back to see how many hours it took that's not the point I do not want to bring you once again I'm bullish on gold and nothing has changed from that only thing is that the correction has been pushed further down a bit crude oil let's have a look uh, where we're heading uh, you guys are well aware of it we were expecting for the price to continue down instead we have seen a deeper price action since we have seen a deeper price action we need to change uh, do a change of plan and the plan is that we need uh, for the break to happen on the diagonal side and we need uh, for the break to happen on the horizontal side to continue with our bearish price movement there is a potential that we can actually see for the prices to go up in that regard in that regard when prices do go up we can actually push this support up right over here and then we'll definitely use this diagonal line the major analysis that I have on crude oil is that I'm bearish on crude oil how is gonna happen I've already indicated to you guys is that we shall wait for the uh, break of support line which is four hourly time frame is much better right over here and we shall also wait for the break of this as well all right which is horizontal support so I'm bearish on, on crude oil but what is the right point to enter we will look at in uh, in the uh, in, in the coming data and see how it's going on the next one is Bitcoin you are expecting for the Bitcoin to continue stronger price movement we have instead a lot of seen sideways price action on last week I'm expecting that we are going to be bearish in uh, in cryptocurrency and uh, the major price movement is expected to be down in bearers uh, in, in cryptocurrency that includes uh, Bitcoin Ethereum uh, ripple and all of the altcoins as well so I'm bearish on uh, Bitcoin as long as prices stay below this channel that we have created right over here too all right as long prices do not enter in that channel if they do in that enter into that channel in that case a major move upward is expected and then we will go down but right now I'm expecting that the structure actually started right from over here is complete right over here too and we should continue making a price movement downward wish you good luck with your trading if you did like my content please press that thumbs up button and uh, I do read all of content comment section so you are welcome to put any uh, sort of comment uh, that is relevant to our trading wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye